Hi everyone and welcome to our online classroom. Let me remind you, we are still talking about Unit 5, Lesson 3, and this is the second video. In this video, we are going to read a text and answer the questions, make a plan to summarize the text, listen to a text and write information about it. Let's begin. I want you to have a look at this slide. What you see above me, there is a chart. It says KWL chart. Let me tell you what does it mean. K stands for what I know, W stands for what I want to know, and the last letter L is for what you have learned in this lesson. All right, I would like to ask you to take your notebooks and in your notebooks try to transfer the same chart. You don't write in the last column, you leave it open until the end of the lesson. But in the next 30 seconds or so, I want you to complete it with what I, you know about sports, what you want to know. All right, uh, the first thing I want you to do when you look at this slide is have a look at the chart. It says KWL chart. It's right above me. Spend 30 seconds or so, take your notebooks, and please fill in the first two columns. What you know about public sports and what you want to find out today in this lesson. The last column you leave open until the end of the lesson. To do this task, I also prepared some tips for you. Whenever you talk about something and you want to compare, you use antonyms. For example, winter, summer, indoor, outdoor, team sports, individual sports, like and dislike. Now you can pause the video and do the task. Good job, everyone. Don't forget the last column you leave open until we finish this lesson. If you look at, the, if you look at my left side, you can see some words with play. What do we play? We play baseball, we play basketball, we play badminton, we play football and rugby. Now, if you look at these sports, are they team sports or individual sports? Yes, absolutely right. They are team sports. So the rule is that we use the verb play with these sports, with the team sports. So if you look at the picture, this is taken from a YouTube video, which I recommend you to watch to see what sports do we do and what sports do we go for. All this being said, I advise you to go on and to read. What you see on the slide, there is a piece of text taken from your textbook. The task is to read it and to be ready to list which sports fit into different seasons. I will read aloud for you. Please listen. Remember, you can always pause the video and listen to it one more time. Sports has always played an important part in human history. Even in the distant past, people competed in different athletic events to train for the military, to represent their clans or their country, or simply to show their abilities. Why have sports been so important to human beings? Certainly we can say that athletics is recreational and pleasurable. At the same time, it makes us healthy and strong. But sports can also help us build relationships with different people. One goal of international sports events is to create peace between all people on Earth. To achieve good results or set records at an athletic event, one should start going out for sports from early childhood. This makes muscles strong and perfects our skills. Most champions begin to run, jump and play different games from a young age. There are so many sports to feed the interest of all kinds of people. Football, gymnastics, wrestling, boxing, chess, tennis, volleyball, basketball, and swimming are only a few that we can list. Different sports can also be played at different times of the year. Summer offers excellent opportunities for cycling, boating, canoeing, hiking, hang gliding, and surfing. In winter, where there is a lot of snow, sports such as skiing, skating, tobogganing, hockey and bobsledding are very popular. Whether you like team sports or individual athletics, there is something out there for you. 
Get involved, have fun, and be a part of history. Play sports. All right, remember the task? Before I started reading the text, we were suggested to list, after we read the text, to list which sports fit into different seasons. Now you can pause the video and try to find the answer and write it in your notebook. After the text, we have some questions. What we have to do together is answer the questions about the text. I'm going to read each sentence one by one. When did people start to compete in different sports events and what for? Why should one start to go in for sports from early childhood? What main sports can you list? For what sports do the summer and the winter offer opportunities? And the last question, why should the young get involved in doing sports? All right, so I want you to pause the video, grab your notebooks, take a pen and try to find out the answers for these questions. All right, let's check together. What you see on the slide, you see some colors. I have coded the answers for you. If you look at the first bullet, you see the color, it is blue. So it corresponds to the blue in the text. I will read the question for you. When did people start to compete in different sports events and what for? If you have the same answer as me, good job. Even in the distant past, people competed in different athletic events to train for the military, to represent their clans or their country, or simply to show their abilities. And this is the answer for the first question. We move on. In green you see the next one. Why should one start to go in for sports from early childhood? The text says, to achieve good results or set records at an athletic event, one should start going out for sports from early childhood. If you have the same answer, if you have the same answer, good job. Next question, what main sports can you list? The text says, football, gymnastics, wrestling, boxing, chess, tennis, volleyball, basketball, and swimming are only a few that we can list. So remember, whenever you find and try to find an answer in the text, look for the keywords in the question, because the keywords will help you to find the answer in the text. Let's move on. For what sports do the summer and the winter offer opportunities? Summer offers excellent opportunities for cycling, boating, canoeing, hiking, hang gliding and surfing. Why should the young get involved in doing sports? The text says, this makes muscles strong and perfects our skills. Try to remember, muscles, muscles. What I want you to take away from this video is some tips of how you should write a summary. Because if you look at the task, we are suggested to make up a plan to summarize the text. What text? The one that we have just read. So let's read one by one. How to summarize? Point one, read the text. We did it. Don't let big words scare you. Remember how many words we read? Long words, awkward words sometimes. Ask, what was this text about? And your answer should be a complete sentence or two, should cover main point and key ideas, should be in your own words, paraphrase, shouldn't, I will uh, stress it one more time, shouldn't just be a word or two. All right, let's move on. What you see on this slide, you see a script taken from page 105 from your textbook, a listening supplement, and right now we are going to listen to this te text twice. After the text, or while you're listening uh, to the text, I want you to pay attention to the questions that you have after the text. I will read the questions for you. International sports, when athletes are considered national heroes, training requirements, sports in Moldova. Of course, this task will be an individual one, but for the moment, let's listen to the text. 7th Form, Unit 5, Lesson 3 In Great Britain, people are fond of rugby, cricket, golf, horse racing, etc. Football in England, like in many countries, is a preferred sport, and it has the largest number of fans. In the United States, Team sports such as American football, baseball, and basketball are very popular for both men and women. Every country has its favorite sports, and every year participants in those sports get together to compete. 
Gifted athletes bring honor and fame to their countries when they win gold, silver, or bronze medals at major international competitions such as the Olympics. These athletes are considered national heroes. This is a well-deserved title because of the difficulty and intensity of their training. Depending on the kind of sport, Hours and hours each week must be spent on specific exercises. Athletes must think about the balance between challenging themselves and pushing too hard. They have to choose how many exercises they will do each day. Based on their bodies, they must decide if they will work out at the beginning or at the end of the day. And they must eat right and get plenty of sleep. In Moldova, a kind of wrestling, Franta, and a type of baseball, Wina, are national sports. Football is still the most popular. Our state government pays a lot of attention to young people, creating good facilities for them to play. Internal competitions and championships are held in kickboxing, wrestling, volleyball, weightlifting, horsemanship, etc. The best athlete from these local competitions is then invited to compete at international events. Our country never misses the chance to send its sports representatives to the Olympic Games. All right, this time we are not going to check together. This is an individual task. Let's move on. All right, so on this slide you see supplement, and the office of this textbook will kindly recommend you to take uh, uh, and uh, practice uh, prepositions, homophones, homographs, commonly confused words. Because remember, practice makes perfect. So my own recommendation for you will be to take 10 of each of them every day and practice. You can use them on your own or put them in context. For example, essays, sentences, or even paragraphs. We're still on the rubric uh, supplement, but this time you have English-speaking countries. What I want you to do is read about English-speaking countries. You can write some fact files. Of course, you can put them into projects, you can write some, uh, some information in your portfolios, but please, every day, try to read as much as possible. You can find the information in your supplement. Another piece of advice for you will be to practice irregular verbs. Remember, you can find the irregular verbs on page 132, the same textbook. My piece of advice for you would be to take five irregular verbs each day and practice them. And when speaking about vocabulary, it's important to develop it by reading, writing and speaking skills, build an extensive vocabulary and, of course, develop fluency through integrated skills work. Alright everyone, we are about to finish the second video of Unit 5, Lesson 3. Let's see what we have studied today. In this part of the video, we read a text and answered the questions. We made a plan how to summarize a text. We listened to a text and wrote information about it. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Take care. Stay safe.